Betting 9 cents per ad click is very frustrating. This would take a very long time before reaching the AdSense payment threshold of $100. At such rate, you would need a total of 1,101 clicks to get to $100. Crazy right? Well in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to increase your earnings by boosting your AdSense CPC. This method is totally legal and was given as a tip in the Google AdSense forum. So, without wasting much time, let's increase our earnings with the simple steps. Firstly, you have to download the list of low CPC advertisers. The file download link is in the comments section of this video, click on the link to download the file. The download should be fast because the file is less than 1 megabyte. After downloading the file, locate it in your computer's default download location. The file is in zip format, so you need software like 7zip to unzip the file. The download link to the unzip software that I am using in this tutorial is also in the comments section. After locating the file, unzip it. It will ask for a password, check the comments section for the password to the file. Open the several subfolders until you get to the txt document called, low cpc. Double click the file to open it. Here you will see a list that contains URLs of all the low CPC advertisers currently on Google AdSense Network. Now go to your Google AdSense dashboard, click on Blocking Control. Select All Sites. Scroll down a bit, click on Manage Advertiser URLs. A space will be provided for you to add all the URLs that you want to manage. Go back to that low CPC list, select all the links and paste it in the space provided. Then click on search. Give it some seconds to load all the advertisers on that list. The new AdSense user interface doesn't support posting multiple URLs, so we will use an alternative method. Go back to the low CPC list, add a comma to the end of each URL. This would take some time, so I will speed up this video to complete it. Watch closely. Once you are done adding the commas, copy the URLs. Go back to your AdSense dashboard and paste the URLs in the space provided. Then click on search. The list of all the advertisers will load. Scroll through to see them. Scroll up, click on the block all button. This will stop Google from showing ads from this advertisers on your website because they pay very low for click and some don't even pay for impression. This should take some time, it depends on how many URL you added. Do not close this tab until the process is completed. Now I will add all the URLs in that low CPC list. Watch closely. 
I have updated this file and added all the commas, so you won't go through the stress of adding them when you download the file. Now copy, paste them, and block all. Now we have to check if all the high CPC advertisers are available on our website. To do that, go back to blocking controls, click on all sites. Scroll to the bottom and you will find, add networks. Make sure the button that allows Google AdSense to automatically add new advertisers to your website is turned on. Now go back to the CPC file you downloaded. Open the high CPC folder. This will show you the list of high paying advertisers and also how much they pay for each click. Manually copy each advertiser's name and paste it in the search box provided on your AdSense dashboard. AdSense does not support copy and pasting all, so you have to do it one at a time. Make sure each advertiser is not blocked from your website. Some AdSense accounts automatically block all these networks, so check to make sure that they are all allowed. After doing this, we have to verify that only high CPC advertisers are showing on the website. So go back to your website and refresh. You will notice that a new list of advertisers is showing on your website. These advertisers are from automobile, engineering, education, and health industries. Their CPC is high, and you will earn more for every click you get on your website. There are several important things you need to note about using this feature to boost your AdSense CPC. This is not a black hat method, it is 100% approved by Google AdSense. You can do this on all your website, and your account won't face any issues. Blocking low CPC advertisers might reduce the number of different advertisers on your website. This method might reduce your CTR, but your CPC will increase. Google keeps updating its list of advertisers, so new low CPC networks might be added to your website in the future, you can use this method to block them. Thank you for watching this video, support me by liking the video if you find it educative. There are several white hat methods used for increasing CPC, I will be talking more about this in future videos, so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss the tutorial whenever I post them. If you have further questions, ask me in the comments section. New videos are posted every day on this channel, so don't forget to check back for more. Until my next tutorial, have a great day.